What's up YouTube world? Today I want to do a little video on this little guy here. She is my water monitor. Um, Java water monitor. I haven't seen too many videos on them. Um, basically it's the same thing as a regular monitor. A uh, regular water monitor. The only thing is uh, the island where she comes from is uh, Java Island. Um, this video I just want to show you how she is and also talk a little bit about respiratory infection um, she actually has one right now kind of like a, a pneumonia kind of deal is going on um, getting her treated right now with uh, this stuff I was prescribed by a vet it is uh, some antibiotic that I have to put in here like so and I'm about to give it to her now that way she can get treated let's have bubbles there we go. so but I mean other than that she has been pretty good. Um, I started noticing she was coughing and having kind of like, kind of like a weird sound coming out of here, like a, like a, like a cough. But yeah, so she's still kind of shy. Um, never bit me, but is still pretty shy. Um, I've been feeding her turkey. I mean not turkey. Uh, some raw chicken breast and eggs crickets and now I just got some new dubia roaches um, I'm going to start feeding her those see how she does with those and uh, dubia roaches are way more high in protein than a cricket uh, the ratio on a cricket is like 15% um, protein dubia roaches have about 40, uh, 35% so overall way better food source for your animal whether it be a monitor a gecko beard dragon anything so you see um, I bought it from a reptile show pretty cheap uh, about 75 bucks so I'm not sure maybe that's why I got it for so cheap maybe she wasn't feeling well when he had her but he had like several other ones. She was the friendliest and the biggest that he had. So I got her, man. I was pretty excited. And um, the other thing is, I started noticing, you know, that she has her eyes closed a lot and her energy was kind of low. Even though she'll come out and bask on her little heat spot, um, she started making these noises at night. And started doing kind of like a coughing, sneezing sound, like a chat. It's just weird. So I took her to the vet a couple of days ago and and uh, confirmed that it was some type of uh, respiratory infection. I can actually feel it when she breathes. It's kind of got like a phlegm going on inside her throat, kind of like in her belly. It's kind of like a <gasps> you can feel it when she breathes. So thing is, she doesn't. Um, just did some basic tests on her just uh you know just save a couple dollars even though that was like 113 dollars for that visit um you know i just got the antibiotics to see how it goes and she might do it right now see her mouth is a little open her eyes closed close their eyes a lot for some reason hopefully uh she starts feeling better but you can see i fattened her up a little bit she has eaten some good amount of raw meat and crickets so her appetite really hasn't slowed down it's just uh, her breathing is just not there so you're like she's opening her mouth and stuff to breathe it's not normal so I'm about to give her see that that's what she's been doing and I haven't really seen any videos on this too much on respiratory infection on the water monitor so hopefully with this treatment uh, for the next couple weeks should do better I gotta check up next week to see how she does and um, after I give her 
antibiotic, which is not easy to do. I gotta inject this straight into her mouth. Um, I'll give her some roaches, see if she likes them. I'm gonna let her go for right now. So I can give her her food. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get her. She went to hide over here. And, uh, get her. Give her the treatment. I'm about to change all this bedding out pretty soon. Because, uh, it's dirty. And on top of that, um, the vet found a tick on her. So, said to prevent, to see if there's any more eggs or ticks on her to clean out the entire cage. So, she is not going to like this. That's why she is squirming. It's not a good way to build a relationship, but only thing I can do at the moment to make her feel better. So, try to administer this thing. So, the trick that I developed is um, I open up her mouth with this credit card I have. So, hopefully, I can do it. And she don't poop on me. Does not like it at all. Come That wasn't so bad now, was it, girl? So, yeah. I hope uh, to get her treated. Hopefully, uh, she heals up. And she can live a long, healthy life with me. She gets really, really big. I'm excited to. So, I'm going to let her settle down for a little bit. And then, I'm going to offer her some Dubia roaches. See how she does. Uh, this is the third time I've done that. Uh, the first one, and she got dewormed also at the vet, was uh, three days ago, and um, she also had a tick removed, so hopefully she gets better. She had it in her ear, so I really didn't even notice that, and I'm going to take a better look at her all the time. Hopefully she does a lot better for me, so maybe she'll eat later. Alright, so this is my Dubia Roach. Uh, colony I have here. The other day I bought uh, 10 females, 2 males, and a variety of younger ones from, uh, his name is, oh man I forgot the name now, um, Classy Herps. So you can see, there's a good amount there. Let me, uh, so I'm going to collect a few so I can give so those are the, f the males and the female breeding colony. These are the younger ones, the one that I'm going to collect now. Um, I guess I'll just grab them. They're a lot better food source than a cricket. So, those are the dubia roaches. Let's see how many she'll eat. Uh, I'll start off with, I guess, this many. If she eats them, then I'll go and get some more. But you see, they can't climb, they don't make noise, and they don't stink. That's like the best part about having these roaches. That's a big male right there. And that one looks to be like a female. And these are the juveniles. So, hopefully they start making babies for me, and I don't have to buy any. So, see, there's a good amount there. 
these are fairly in demand so they're pretty expensive actually it costs about mm, maybe like twenty dollars for a pair I mean for a 25 so that's pretty expensive man so we got a little baby one in there too so I went and uh, I was YouTubing it and I found I came across this guy's videos a younger kid and he's in high school or something and he actually breeds these along with snakes and other reptiles and stuff and he sells them he has so many of them so um, he sells them pretty cheap I bought a breeding pair for 20 bucks and he threw in some uh, younger ones so that's pretty good so I'm just gonna breed them until she doesn't need to eat them anymore and I uh, will go from there and I'll just sell them or whatever but for now these are a lot healthier and better food source than just giving her crickets because they, they suck so hopefully she'll